Alright, welcome back to the uh, build of my bat van and today we're going to finish out the drawers by doing the uh, face or the front of the drawers. So I've got my wood set up, got my table saw set up, we're going to do a little cutting then we're going to take them out in the van, fit everything, get some indicator marks and we're going to come in and laminate stuff. So uh, let's go ahead and get started and I'm going to cut some wood and then we'll uh, go out and mark it. so we're getting ready to uh, fab up our doors and so a couple things I did put some tape here on the sides and marked over a half inch on each side because we're going to do a half inch overlay uh, width wise on each side so the uh, door is one inch wider than the opening then uh, I put a piece of half inch on the floor to elevate the door one half inch and uh, the reason I'm doing that is in case I want to put down a rug or a carpet or something that when I go to open the door I'm not catching that carpet. Uh, at least I hope not. And then uh, what I plan on doing right now is I marked a couple of uh, locator points and I'm going to go ahead and pre-drill those into the drawer itself here on the face. That way after everything's laminated I can put it back up here, attach the screws from the inside and it puts it right back where it should be with luck and uh, then we go ahead and make sure that we got things fastened on the inside so that's what we're going to do I'm going to go ahead and drill my holes we'll put it up in place finish uh, drilling the holes in the, in the face of the drawer then we'll take everything off and uh, get things laminated so let me go ahead and take care of that and uh, then we'll laminate Alright, now we're going to get ready to uh, edge band our boards before we put our top laminate on. And to uh, do that, I'm using a product called EdgeMate. It's a melamine, it's black and uh, super thin and so easy to work with. Better than the crap I had the first time. So I've already pre-cut all my pieces. Now we uh, got our iron all heated up. So hang in there. We're going to go ahead and get this installed. And because this stuff gets hot, wear a glove. So, here we go. And to trim it is super easy. Just going to use a razor blade, set it up on edge here. Trim it right flush with our board. And for this part, Just like so. Alright, now with all the <clears throat> edge banding on, we're going to go ahead and uh, laminate. So, I've got everything cut. And uh, we're just going to roll out the glue, let it set up, and then do our thing. Here we go. been about 15 minutes if that so we're going to go ahead and get ready to laminate here
All right, one down, one to go. Good deal. All right, well, with the laminate out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, trim this up. And once we get it trimmed up, then we'll install it on our drawers and make sure everything fits and looks good before we uh, move forward. So let me go ahead and trim this and then uh, we'll pull out the drawers. All right, so here we are with the first test fit and I just put screws in the two pilot holes that we uh, drilled before we put on the laminate. And so that's all I've got holding on the door. And uh, hey, it works. So I'm gonna take this door off. We're gonna put some glue around and uh, add some more screws. That way it's nice and solid. And then we can put on our catches and our handle and we can call that one done. I do have to go around and clean up all the edges uh, on everything here because I didn't do that yet. So, all right, so I'm gonna pull this drawer out and go ahead and attach the door on that one. Then I'll put it back in and uh, give it a test run before I uh, go ahead and start securing things down. So let me go ahead and pull this out, get it in the garage, and we'll install that door. Okay, so I went ahead and attached the door to the face of the drawer, and it looks like it's going to work pretty decent. Nice. Yep, I'm liking it. Now I need to uh, pull the faces off here, go ahead and mark where I need to glue. We'll glue those and get the screws fastened on there. Make sure it's nice and dry and tight. Clean everything up. Reinstall it. Put our catches on and our handles. Oh man, we are almost there. It's looking good. Well, it's not going to get done if I'm just sitting here, so i got to move it. Okay, here's where we're at. So the drawers are complete except for finish on the insides we'll do that later now I'm getting ready to install the uh, catches so I still have uh, this one to do and we're just kinda eyeballing things measuring down about an inch from the top for the top edge and then we'll uh, get those installed on this side and then we'll put the drawers in and hopefully we can line everything up We'll do the old uh, butyl tape and baby powder trick and uh, we'll get those installed and see how well they hold things closed before we put the handles on. All right, so let me go ahead and uh, take care of these two and then we'll worry about getting the uh, catches onto the drawers themselves. And, well, hope everything lines up. All right. So I'm ready to install the catches. I've got those in position where I need them. And I've got a couple pieces of tape here on the inside. And now, I need to run a little bit of butyl on here. Make sure I get it pretty close. All right. So we've got butyl tape on the inside here. Take a little bit of little bit of baby powder on there. This will keep it from sticking to the uh, catches, so I'll be able to see my holes. All right. Now we can press it close. And I can see my marks. So now I'll just go ahead and pre-drill and then uh, we'll install the catches and then we'll close it and hopefully it latches. So give me just a second. 
All right, so we're uh, pre-drilled. Now I'm going to go ahead and install the catches here. And man, I really hope they line up. Hey, it worked. Right on. All right. Now we can install the handles and uh, call that done. So I did the uh, cooler side, so let me show you there. And I, uh, I do have these on the loosest settings. So, nice and tight. Right on. Good deal. Now we can go ahead and install the pools. And uh, I need to figure out where I want to locate those. And then we'll get those installed. All right, so we are getting ready to install our pull handles. And uh, so I need to figure out a location for these. And I'll probably do that off of camera. And then I'll show you installing it real quick. But uh, just in case you ever wonder, do I make a mistake? Well, I do. And honestly, out of this entire build so far, I made one mistake. And, uh, I mean, there's a lot of things that don't fit exactly the way they should because of the curvature and the van and nothing square. But, you know, those things I can live with. But this one... <laughs> Let me show you what I did. So the thickness of my wood here is a half inch. And the screws are a little more than a half inch. So I had to uh, grind the heads off a little bit. And uh, make sure that those didn't come through the front. Which they didn't. I was uh, happy about that. But in my haste to pre-drill the holes... Uh, I punched a hole through the, through the front of this Formica. And I'm going to tell you what, you don't, uh, you don't hide that very easy. And just to, you know, make sure that, you know, it doesn't stand out as proud. I'm just going to take a black tip marker here real quick. Punch a little bit of marker juice in there. And uh, so there, yeah, I make my uh, fair share of mistakes, but I have an idea how I can hide that because as soon as you open the door, <laughs> you know, I will, I'll notice that hole right off the bat, but I do have a, a little solution that I think is going to work uh, to hide that. So anyway. On with the pull handles. That's a bummer. Make sure that doesn't happen again. Okay, so for my handles, I'm going to have two handles on this side. I have one on that side, and uh, I determined I'm going to go down three inches, which is about the center of my pulls or my latches. And then I'm going to come in, oh, 
I, right now I've got it set at 8 inches and I think that's going to work. So, no turning back once I start drilling. It's set. Alright. Well, if I make a mistake, those are two holes I can't hide. <laughs> so, let me go ahead and get the uh, pool handles installed here. That's the one. And that's two. All right, let me eyeball that. Make sure that we're in the right spot. And then we'll take a shot of everything. And there is our benches in all its glory. For whatever that's worth. So we do have our porta potty, which I'm happy with, and we do have our cooler, which I am happy with. Now there is a possibility that I'll have to put some other type of latch on there uh, to keep things closed. I was trying to avoid that, but we will see. Won't know until we take the first trip around a couple of corners at 60 and see what flies open. It's looking all right. All right, so we're uh, moving right along. I'm happy to say that I'm pretty much done with the benches and everything works as it should. Uh, I still have a little bit of finish work to do on the inside, but I'm going to have to save that for a later date uh, because, uh, well, I got places to go and people to see and then uh, yeah so my next step is uh, I'll make my bed and then I do have something else I need to install in here but I'll probably save that for the next video and I think it's gonna I think it'll look pretty cool we'll see you let me know what you think and uh, I did mention that uh, I will probably put a step here between the seats but someone suggested that I should wait until I got my cushions on here which is pretty wise uh, because uh, if I do it now and set my foot on there once I get the cushions on I'll be elevated a little bit more so I'll wait till I get the cushions on and then I'll determine how high I need this little step maybe put a little drawer at the bottom I don't know we'll see and uh, so I do have a little bit of cleanup work to do on the benches to get off some of the glue and all the smudge marks and everything like that. The drawers turned out pretty decent and uh, I took some sandpaper and went over the edges here because this, uh, this Formica stuff, man, that's freaking sharp. I don't know how many paper cuts I got off of this thing. So we're going to try to avoid that and uh, we'll sand some edges make sure everything's nice and round and just in case you bump into it all right i think that's going to do it appreciate everyone watching and uh, all the comments really uh really enjoy the build so far so i hope you're uh, also liking it as well and we do have the galley section to still fab together and get installed and then some tricks that we're going to put in here to make things look, uh, well, like a bat cave. Alright, till next time, stay tuned.